what the, what's the enduring appeal of private markets in the current environment? I mean, we've seen in London, you know, certainly the public markets looking a bit bleak at the moment. We were very disappointed when Arm went to New York. You know, it was you know a, a fantastic British company. Um, the end of cheap money has happened. But so, what does this mean for deals and investment? How best can asset managers like you still reach those target returns? Which are, and if and if you don't, it's tough, isn't it? I think there will always competition, like it was said prevently by Monsieur Rambeau. Um, all markets are competitive. Okay, so. One strength of Argon is to be diversified. Mm -hmm. So we have always something which is outperforming. Um, I, I was quoting private credit, but we have also infrastructure in Europe, infrastructure in US. We have secondaries, and it is very important secondaries because when people are too much exposed to private equity, uh, then they tend to sell. It's clear that you remember the bankruptcy of Silicon Valley Bank, okay? Uh, your bond portfolio, you can, in terms of accounting, you keep them at cost, okay? Mm -hmm. But in fact, at fair market values, they have a big unrealized loss. Yep. And when you judge about your exposure of private equity, you compare it to the fair market value, not to your cost value, yep. okay? And so all the private equity exposure are too high currently. So we did, we were... Conservative, but in fact, Ardian was very active on the last two years on the secondary market, while our competitors were a little more maybe cautious, afraid of what will happen. And I think so we sized a lot of good transactions with a very good discount, minus 15% with deferred payment. And so I think we did very well. So you need also to, to jump on opportunities, and in all markets, you have strong opportunities. So yeah. it, it's... But it, it's, it, it's interesting, the general media coverage that you see of PE su su suggests that it's, you know, that it's overheated. I think people like me in the media become sceptical because it is private. You know, it's, it's not as easy to find out what's going on. But do you think there have been examples of people kind of in an overheated market overpaying for things? Um, currently, no. No? Currently, no. We see more transactions of very high-quality companies, strong growth and high-quality. Well, unfortunately, average or below-average companies tend to n not to be sold. Yeah. This is the market. Right. 